Hey guys, today is our first day of online learning. We're gonna start with our statistics unit and you will be completing lesson CC1. I know some of you have already started it, but my expectations are that you should be getting 100% or at least in the 90s. So if you are really struggling, need more examples, those are the kind of things that you need to email me about. But um, I think you're gonna do just fine because I'm gonna teach you how to do it. And um, make sure you read the explanations on IXL as well because that will give you a, dif a different or more clear perspective than me sometimes. So uh, if we could zoom in on the notes and I will be posting these on Schoology as well. So if you wanna replay this video and follow along, that might make things more clear for you. I'm going to quickly go through these. Uh, most of it is definitions. Our learning, Our learning target is how to find the mean, median, and mode of data. And you're going to be able to use those measures of central tendency to analyze data. Mean, median, and mode are all ways to measure the middle of a certain group of data. Uh, First of all, mean is average. We've talked about this in class. How do you find the average? You add all the numbers together and you divide by how many there are. Sum divided by count is the abbreviation for that. Secondly, median. You must put the numbers in order first. That's the biggest thing that kids forget to do. They do not put the numbers in order and then they just cross them off from end to end to find the middle number, and it's not the correct number because they didn't put them in numerical order. So median, like when you're driving down the highway, well, you guys will be driving in a few years, but that middle part is called the median. And you're gonna put the numbers in numerical order, cross them out from end to end till you get to the middle number, and if there's an odd amount of data, it's gonna be the middle number. If there is an even amount of data, you have to add the two middle numbers and divide by two. You have to take the average or the mean of the two middle numbers. The mode, that's the easy one. Mode sounds like most. They both have four letters. They both start with M. It's the number that occurs most often and if there's no repeating numbers, there's no mode. And if there's like two twos and two fives, there would be multiple modes. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of that on IXL, but I thought I'd throw that in. And then last but not least is the range. The range of the numbers is the highest numbers minus, the highest number in the data set minus the lowest number in the data set. So, I'm gonna run through one quick example and let's just zoom in on these notes one more time. And once again, I will be posting these. So if you wanna replay the video and follow along, cause I know I kinda of went a little fast. All right. The example that I have here is that Bella is participating in a fundraiser for the cure for coronavirus. So far, her family and friends gave her five pledges in the following amounts, $9, $7, $4, $3, and $7. First of all, we're gonna find the mean. What do we do? Add them all up. Sum is 30, divide by how many there are. Five. Sum divided by count, 30 divided by five equals six. Median. Do you remember what I said you have to do with the median? You have to put them in numerical order. So don't leave them as nine, seven, four, three, seven. That is not numerical. So you want to put them in numerical. Three, four, seven, seven, nine. Cross them out from end to end. Boom. Seven is the median. 
If there were another donation or another pledge, let's pretend it was $10, put them in numerical order, there's going to be two middle numbers, which are both 7, and then you have to find the mean of that. 7 plus 7 divided by 2 is 7. Mode, number that occurs most often, 7 occurred twice, that's obviously the mode. And the range is the highest number minus lowest, which would be 9 minus 3, which is 6. Um, please give me your feedback, guys. I know I'm probably going too fast. I'm a little nervous and, and um, got to get used to this. I might find some better means of technology rather than the whiteboard, but that's how I teach. That's what you guys are used to. So we'll see how it goes. Give me your feedback tomorrow. And please listen to what I'm saying right now because some things from yesterday's video were a little bit unclear. I am asking you to try the IXL category CC1. That's what this lesson connects to. CC1 under seventh grade. Record your score and please send any questions if you struggle with it. So you might need to have a pencil and paper. You're probably going to need your calculator. And um, if I need to spend an extra day on this, Tomorrow's video will be over more examples of mean, median, and mode, and range. Otherwise, we're going to move on to CC2. So if you get it and you got 100%, then we're going to just keep on trucking. All right. Have a great day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.